Yo, my name is Benjamin and in this video I wanted to give you a quick look at pinning layers to the viewport, which is something we're adding to Framer Sites very soon. So here I have a sample file. However, our email icon scrolls along with the page and clashes with our navigation. This is something we can fix with viewport pinning. So I can select the layer here, set fixed to true. And as soon as I do so, you'll see a viewport line appears that allows me to position the layer relative to the viewport instead of the page or other layers. So I can set the pinning. I could also move it around and you can see indicators on canvas showing you how it's pinned. Let me set that to 40, 40. And you can also resize the viewport line to your liking. And this is also a nice way to see which layers are in fact pinned to the viewport. If you are using breakpoints, you can also override pinned layers. So here maybe on the phone breakpoint, we might want it centered. So I can update the positioning and pinning. And let's also use a different variant that has background blur and is expanded by default. And now let's have a look at the result. So here is our deployed demo page. If I scroll the page, you'll see our email icon is now fixed. We can also hover it to animate it while staying fixed. And we can click on any of the items to jump to the corresponding section. And if we resize this, we can see that our breakpoint override is also working, where the icon is pinned and expanded. So that was a quick look at viewport pinning. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.